Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a tool called CryptCat. So what is CryptCat? If you ever heard of NetCat or something like that, it's the secure version of that. So we can have communication from a client and a server securely with a password. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's have some fun and jump into it. All right, folks, so here we are on my desktop. So first thing I wanna show you guys is I have my Kali machine right here booted up, and I also have an Ubuntu box. So we're gonna be using both of these in this video, but right now, we're gonna focus on one machine. So we're gonna have a client server set up on my local Kali machine, just like if you was to do like a CTF or something like that to call back, and it's the same concept, but uh, uh, CryptCat is a secure channel. Yeah, you can do probably netcat-ssl or whatever, but this is just another tool that I wanted to showcase because I was using this with a CTF recently that we can have a secure channel. And, you know, obviously you can use port forwarding and all that stuff over your network. And that's out of scope for this video, but this is going to be locally. And then we're gonna go ahead and make this work on my Ubuntu box as well as on two separate networks. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is type in crypt, uh, CryptCat. So this tool right here, so PT, PT cat. All right, so we're gonna do a dash H really quick so you can see the options, right? So we have gateway, we have source routing, we have uh, I, H, whatever, you know, addressing. So we have a whole bunch of different options here, but I wanna show you there's an option dash K, right? So what I wanna do really quick is I wanna go ahead and do man, cryptcat. All right, so if we do man cryptcat, you can see cryptcat dash K secret. Okay, so let's just keep coming down. You can see right here is secret password. And the reason why I'm showing that is because we're gonna be using that option inside this video today. So we're gonna go ahead and queue for that. And the reason I'm showing that because here we didn't see that dash K option. So I wanted to showcase, because if you did a dash H and then when you you know, see me do the command, you're like, I didn't see that in action. So I'm just gonna do, let me just put my, my fancy password, password one, two, three, like my buddy says. All right. So let me just do that and then that, and let's make this a little larger. All right, so what we're gonna do first is go ahead and set up the, whoop, not that, sorry. We're gonna do cryptcat, C-R-Y-P-T-C-A-T. All right, and then we're gonna do dash L for local, and then dash P for port, I wanna do one, three, three, seven for lead hacker, and then dash K for the secret. So I wanna put my secret password, password 2025, okay? Because we're in 2025 now, okay? So now we're running that. So now what we have to do is have a communication call back to us, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up, a, I'm just gonna open up a new one right here, and we're gonna go ahead and open this one up here and see if I can open this one here. That's fine, whoops. All right, so now let me go ahead and make this larger. And let's do sudo su really quick, just so we're on the same page. All right, and then what we're gonna do, uh, I guess we lost everything here. Let me do this, let me, uh, let me do something really quick. Let me cd dot dot so I can get some more real estate. And let me make this a little smaller just so we can. So we're gonna do this again and so we can see it here, okay? And now we're gonna go ahead and do pretty much crypto, C-R-Y-P-T or Cryptcat. All right, we're gonna do local host because this is where we're actually connecting to, right? And then 1337, because this is my crazy uh, fancy port, and dash K for the password, and it's password 2025. Okay. 
Now this is from the client side, right? So now if I say hi, we can see hi over here. Thanks for watching. Boom. So now we have this communication securely, but this is all local on my Kali machine. Let's take it a step further, right? So let's go ahead and cancel this. And then we're going to go ahead and X out of here. We can make this larger. And then we're going to go ahead and do similar, right? So, but now we're going to actually set up something on my Ubuntu machine as well. So let's do this. So, so you can see it's a little different. Let's do, uh, let's just leave one, three, three, seven, just so for simplistic sake. Now let's come over to my Ubuntu box. Well, first I need to know my IP address. So let me, let me just do an IPA show. So, wow, that's an easy IP. 192.168. I'm going to actually copy this and put it off to the side. So I remember, because if I don't do this, whoops, in one second, if I don't do this, then I want to be silly. Why isn't, why aren't I able to paste? All right, whatever. I'm not able to paste. I know why, because I'm remoted in. So I'll try to remember. Okay, that's fine. So 222, 202. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and log in here. Okay. And let's just make sure I can ping it. 192.168.222.202. All right, I'm able to communicate with it. So, and if I do an IPA here, we're at 204, okay? So let's get cooking. So let me just do a little sudo su. And then my fancy password. And let's just make this bigger just so we can see it. All right, cool deal. Let me just go back, make sure I got all my notes in place. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is if you don't have, uh, you know, if you have an Ubuntu box, if you have some other machine, like if you're using Parrot OS or any kind of other system, what you need to do is do sudo apt or sudo apt install uh, cryptcat like that, and then I'm already installed, so we are good here. Okay. Whoops. Go ahead and cancel that. All right. So now what we want to do is just type in cryptcat. Let me actually. I thought I typed it, but that's fine. And then we want to go to the IP of the server, right? So in my case, it's 192.168.222.202. Good. Took my fish oil today. 1337, of course, we're communicating on this port. And then we're going to do the password, which my password is password 2025. Okay. And it didn't work. Let's go see why. Did it not? Oh, because I'm not running it. There. That would help if I ran it. All right. Mistakes happen. I'm human. All right. So now let's give this a shot again. Now we're communicating. Thanks for checking this video out today. Smiley. Enter. Now let's go back to the server. And we should see that. You are welcome. And now we should have basic communication between the two machines. Now, obviously, with some research, with some networking skills, networking knowledge, you should be, you know, you can take this to the next level, port forward, and go over the network and do some fun stuff. But this is just a simple, cool little video. You can show to your friends. You can do it on your local network. And if you have like a LAN party and you're doing some CTFs like, you know, I was a couple weeks ago or maybe, you know, a week and a half ago, whatever it was, you know, I had a few people over and we were communicating like this. So it was pretty cool. And, you know, it's a little nerdy as well. So who doesn't like some nerd stuff? So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found it informative and I'll see you in the next one.